Hello everyone, welcome to our next session, which is all about light. How did the Romans light up their homes? Well, they used several main sources. The first one was obviously fire. After that, candles were the most popular, usually made from tallow, which was animal fat, or beeswax. They also had oil lamps. I'm very lucky to have an actual Roman oil lamp. I bought this at one of the museums. They would put oil into the main part of the oil lamp and then they would have a wick, usually a piece of linen that would stick out and that's what you would light. Now the wick was a really important part because it soaked up the oil from inside the oil lamp. Often they used olive oil, but there were other oils that they used as well. Now the wick soaks up the oil by what we call capillary action. And I've got this to demonstrate how it works. I put a bit of cloth in the water here and it's beginning to soak up. In fact, you won't see, but it's quite wet already at the top. And I deliberately put it into a bowl underneath because over time, the water will soak up and go over the top and into the bowl. And you will find that you get quite a lot of water in the bowl. You might like to try that experiment at home. So it's called capillary action, when a substance, a piece of material is able to soak up a liquid. And that's what wicks do. So each time it's lit, more and more oil replaces the oil that has already been used. Let's put that on one side. The other main form of light at night time for the Romans was a torch. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a Roman torch, but I do have one that we can make out of paper and card. I remember I did say perhaps in a few days time when you've made all the different craft activities you could perhaps have a toga party with your friends and family even if it's just a virtual one over Skype. Here then is an example of a Roman torch that you can make at home to carry around to your toga party. Now the real torches will probably be made from wood and then had something at the top soaked in a substance that would go on fire easily and burn to create the torch effect and the flames. Often the Roman torches had a mixture of sulphur and lime. Now, in order to make our torch, I'll just put that on one side, you'll see that we need quite a lot of different coloured pieces of paper. But again, if you haven't got different colored pieces of paper, just use whatever you've got. Obviously, first check with your parents or, or whoever's looking after you that you can use those things safely. And remember, don't play with fire. And the torch that we're making is purely decorative. It's not really for using. OK, let's have a look at the things we need to think about today. So, Roman torches. They were a source of light, they could be carried, they could also be fixed to a wall, which made them really ideal for using inside buildings. We've already mentioned that there were other sources of light that the Romans used. Oil lamps, fire and candles. And for our torch today, we're going to be using paper and card, sticky tape, glue, scissors, pencil, and if you haven't got coloured paper, use some crayons to colour them in, or paint, whatever you've got handy. But again, check with an adult first. Okay, let's see how we make it. It's very straightforward. Basically, we need a piece of paper about that size. It could be a brown colour, which would be even better if you're going to make it look like wood. And all you do is you just take one end here and you sort of roll it around a little bit to make a cone shape. And then with the cone shape in place, 
you put some sticky tape around where the joins are and you've got your base of the torch. Okay, let's have a look now at what we do to make the flames and they're really easy. The first thing I did was to make a flame shape in a flame colour out of a fairly firm piece of card. That was so that it could stick up and we'd be able to see it. And then you'll see on here, I stuck that just inside. I put a little bit of glue on here and then put it into the inside of my cone. I then also cut out some flame shapes in different colours. So I've got some various shades of orange and yellow here and you could have more red as well. I similarly to the first one stuck them just inside my torch like that. Now you will find that when you first do it they will just drop down like that. So I'm going to show you a little technique now to make them look a little bit more flame-like. If you take a ruler, when you put your paper pieces in, what you can do is take hold of one and if you just pull between your thumb and the ruler, it will bend. And then you can always curve it the other way and make it bend upwards as well. So you get a variety of different flames as if they are sticking out in all different directions. If you and you're doing your flames, you're not sure how to draw the shape, you may want to use your pencil first, but most of the time you'll be able to just cut them without having to draw them first. I hope you have fun making your torch and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye for now.